Hello all grades 10 to 12 students here at H Coast um, in the interior. It's Mr. Kuchma, your guys' grad advisor. This is going to be my announcement for October. I cannot believe that today is the 16th already. It's actually my mom's birthday. Um, she's out of town, but I wished her a big happy birthday. Um, and yeah, if you guys didn't know, my mom actually homeschooled me when I was um, all through primary and elementary. And uh, I really treasure um, that time when I was homeschooled. Um, so I think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm passionate about helping you guys in your guys' homeschool journey. Um, we've got a couple things to go through today. Um, I've got a note to parents. Um, I've got some opportunities for sports here in Kelowna if you're close by. There are some learning camps, learning groups I want to mention, which are in-person or over Zoom um, groups that you can join. Um, I need to talk to the grade 10s and 12s and 11s, if you haven't done them yet, about the uh, assessments. Um, and then I want to talk really quickly about travel and breakfast clubs. So I'm going to go through a bunch of different things. Um, stick around. Hopefully there's at least a few things that um, should jump out at everyone here today. Um, so for starters, um, I'm looking at parents. Um, parents, I am encouraging you now that it is October 16th to do a thorough investigation to find out where your kids are at. And kids, um, when you take a look, um, show your parents, you know, the amount of work that you've done in your courses. Right now is a really great time to find out if you're kind of like on pace, if you've, if you've made progress in your courses or if you are already falling behind. Because if you're falling behind now, um, you still have a lot of time to catch up. And you know, it's good to catch that early. Um, I do not want to find out that you are you know, falling behind in April. Uh, that is too late. Um, so if you are a little bit behind, we want to put supports in place now. And so that is my um, first thing. I didn't even have it on my list, but it's so important. Whenever, anyone logs into Brightspace, which is where all the courses exist, on the far right hand side is our student support center. And I just want to give this a massive plug again today. I know that lots of you guys are accessing this. Um, if you scroll down, you can see Taryn, Carly, and Benjamin's um, booking links. And I just want to encourage you that if you are working on something and you want to make sure that it's to the best of your ability um, or if you're struggling with the scheduling of homeschooling um, if you're not you know doing well in any area of um, your schooling these guys are free EAs that can help you and um, on our like home page right here um, I also really want to tell you guys about the weekly sessions that they are hosting for anyone to drop in. So if you click on to the blog uh, for right now, you will see that you can book a one-to-one -one session. Those are great. But I also want to let you know that you can attend a workshop. And honestly, I'd recommend especially grade 10s. Grade 10s who are new to homeschooling, um, or sorry, grade 10s that are new to the grad program, and any of you that are newer to H Coast, I know that I have done a lot of intake in the last four months. There's a lot of new families here at Heritage. That is wonderful, um, but it can be a tough transition. I know that it can. So there are a couple um, uh, workshops that are happening, and you can scroll down to see. Um, so I'm sending this um, today on Monday uh, the 16th. And I believe there's an ace it today. Oh, it was already it already passed. It was 11 o'clock this morning. Um, but during the week tomorrow, there's the tips for success in getting it done, which that is awesome. Like these are such good things. On Wednesday, there's a killer notes, um, ace it. Um, I believe ace it relates to the provincial assessments. Um, so killer notes is the creating killer notes that you can, you know, learn from what you're writing down. And then there's, you know, ready, set, go and get it done. And these are what these topics are going to be on. Um, I would honestly say go to them all. Like 
you're not going to go to them and be like, wow, that was so boring. I didn't learn anything. Um, these guys are really good at what they do. And so I just encourage you, if you are free tomorrow at 1230, jump into one. If you're free on Wednesday from 11, jump into this. Like, jump into these. All you have to do is click on this link and it will log you in just like a Zoom class. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this is available right now. Um, we have a student council this year. Um, that's another thing. Um, I think there were some positions still open. Um, so if it says actually it's already closed by September 25th. Um, if you're very passionate and wanted to jump into one of these, um, you could shoot me an email. Um, or you could even try to fill out the application form. What does it say? The application form is still open. Ha <laughs> ha! So maybe you could still sign in and uh, try to do that. Um, anyway, back to the H. Coastal page. Um, the next thing on my list is I wanted to let you guys know if you are in the Kelowna area, if it's within driving range for you, there's a volleyball club and a basketball club. The basketball club, I believe, goes up to grade 10 only. Um, so if you're a grade 10 boy, whereas the girls, um, uh, sorry, the volleyball for boys and girls goes all the way up to grade 12. So definitely um, let me know if those are things that you can head up. Uh, the guy who's running it, his name is Justin Giesbricht. He's the coach over at Flex, um, which is like the campus school. So anyway, um, that's something else to note. Um, on our H Coast homepage, I want to show that if you click onto programs and curriculum, um, you can go to our learning groups page. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, I'll close up my Brightspace. And you should see this website. And you can go to participate now. I want to showcase two really quickly. Um, and I want to show you guys how to navigate this website. But these are um, opportunities that you guys can jump into. So I'm going to specifically look for anything in the grade 10, 11, and 12 age range. And I'm going to look um, in the interior and any that are virtual and school-wide. Okay? And that's all I'm going to search. I want to showcase one. I'm doing a downhill mountain biking. It actually happens this Friday. If you did not know about it and you want to know about it, um, shoot me a message as soon as you can. But that is my passion area. I love mountain biking. I just watched Red Bull Rampage on Friday. I could talk about that for a long time. Um, and there's other things that are that are here that you could take a look at. But the other one that I wanted to specifically um, tell you guys about is our Hello Anxiety. So I'm going to click on this one. But I talk to a lot of you um, on the phone, on Zoom. I hear about the anxiety that school students have. I get it. Um, it is so common and I just want to let you guys know that this is a like amazing group. I have heard phenomenal things um, from students who joined this group. Um, it's run by a registered counselor, Julie, and it is funded by our um, learning services department. They are fantastic. I want to click on the more details. Where's the more details? Oh no, details and apply. Um, this goes multiple weeks in a row. Um, so if you've never signed up for one of these things, there's an apply now button. Um, but I want to showcase to you that this is a six week, um, you know, uh, Zoom session class and it cost $30. Um, that is the best price I have ever seen um, for, you know, uh, help with anxiety. So if you guys are curious and you want to jump in on that, um, it's only for high school students. So this is literally targeted at you guys. Please, please sign up. Um, I would pay your $30. I know that um, it honestly is such a great program for some students to go through. Um, I also just want to let you know that I will be running other ones. So my first one of the year is a downhill mountain biking one. I want to do one um, snowboarding at Silver Star. I'll tell you about that one when it comes. I want to do a hike to the top of Mount Boucherie. Um, that'll be another one here in the Okanagan. And then I want to do a UBCO tour. That's where I went to university. That's where my sister went to university. That's where my wife went to university. That's where my cousin went to university. That's where my best friend went to university. Like, I know the programs there for engineering, nursing, 
science, arts, teaching. I know all the degrees there. Um, I know all the different rooms. Um, and so I want to do that at the end of the year, probably in May. So just letting you know that there are things that you're able to jump in on. Um, some of them be some of them will be in person, um, like my mountain biking, and then some of them will be virtual, like the Hello Anxiety. So just letting you know about that. Um, I'm going to go back to our H Coast homepage, and I'm going to show you two more things. Um, the travel programs, um, honestly, these are so great, you guys, and I'm pretty sure they're all full now. Um, so the Comp Civ one is for 11 and 12 students. Our Adventure Discipleship is for 10, 11, or 12 students. Um, those are all full. And our SEAL, um, our very first trip to Guatemala is happening this year, and that one's done. So literally all of our trips are um, planned for the year, and I would just really encourage you guys to get excited about them next year. Um, that if you're in grade 10 this year, or if you're in grade 11 this year, and you're look for, looking forward to next year, get a job, save some money, um, these are so worth the price of admission. So talk to me if you want more information about them, but I wanted to quickly um, do a shout out on that. Um, as well, if you guys are looking for a, uh, a Christian connection, I wanted to let you know that if you go to our grad website, which is again here on the H Coast website, everything is on the H Coast website. Um, and if you go here um, into our H Coast grad program, um, honestly, this is an old website where it's in the queue to get updated. Um, but if you go to grad regions, you can click onto Breakfast Club. And so Breakfast Club is a weekly um, meeting on Fridays at 10 a.m. in Mr. Brightcourt's um, Zoom room. He is um, a pastor and one of the um, teachers in our humanities program and leadership programs. Um, so he runs part of the meeting and then there are actually students in his leadership class that lead part of breakfast club so it's kind of like a chapel where they talk about faith thought contemporary life all that um, i pop in occasionally when i can um, i have it as a pop-up reminder on my calendar and i'll jump in when i can sometimes but it doesn't always work but uh, yeah i really think this is a great way for you guys to jump in if you ever want you can just bookmark this page um, and it's a great one. So then my last thing isn't to do anything with um, a link to show you. It's just to tell you about our assessments. So if you are in grade 10, there are two provincial assessments that you have to do this year. One of them is a numeracy assessment. One of them is a literacy assessment. If you are in grade 12, you need to also write the literacy 12 assessment. There are three assessments in total. If you are a grade 11 student and you did not write your numeracy and literacy assessments last year, you need to do that ASAP. Um, I probably should, would have already bugged you. But um, for the assessments that we um, offer, there are four different writings that you can do, okay? So it starts off in November and that's coming up. Um, there is one in January. April and June so four times out of the year we run these I do not run them um, they're set up by a team and they coordinate all of it um, so there'll be an email that's sent to you and you just have to sign up for it there's a form you tell them where you live and you tell them which assessments you need to write so just plugging that that if you're in grade 10 I believe the one for uh, this month is already or like for November has already been sent out um, and if you didn't sign up, that's fine because there will be a sign up in April or June. And for all of you in grade 10, um, I recommend potentially waiting until the second semester of the year to write those. Then you'll have a little bit more grade 10 under your belt. You'll probably do better um, on your assessments. Um, and just be a little bit more confident in your, your, you know, in your writing and in your numeracy. So that's probably um, of benefit to you. Um, but these are not like for marks in your math course. Okay, they're not for marks in your English course. These are separate. The assessments are something that takes place um, from the Ministry of Education. So it's it's completely separate. But yeah, that's all for today. I wanted to wrap this up before the 15 minute mark. So blessings as you guys move into this next season and have a blessed school year.
I'm here. Reach out if you need it. Thanks. Bye.